What's good, YouTube? It's still up. Baby, this motherfucker, you know what's going on, my God. And we back with another video. What's good, y'all? You know, we on Multiverse. I just wanted to show up the community, my Steven Universe, you feel me? You know, I am, um, I'm currently number 16 Steven in the world. My peak with Steven was number 8. So I feel like I kind of know what I'm talking about a little bit, a little bit, a little so and so, you know, you know, I'm a uh, top 700 player right now, my peak 300, but I just want to show the Steven community his best fucking perks, bro. I'm going to put y'all on game and show y'all the best perks to use in Steven in 1v1s. It, it also works in 2v2s too. So you can, you can use these perks. Either 1v1s, 2v2s, it really don't fucking matter. To be honest, like, it's still gonna dominate the fucking leaderboard. Like, come on. I'm gonna show y'all real quick. Damn, hold on, damn, hold on, damn, hold on, damn, hold on, damn. Uh, Alright, stop getting distracted. Okay, so basically, look, we got Bounce Bubble as the main perk. Look, I used to be using Green Thumb to make the watermelon bigger. But if you going against like really, really good people, let's say you going against like like a Batman, a Wonder Woman, a Harley. These people, if they know how to play the game very well, they're gonna eliminate Watermelon before he even cracks. As as a person who's been playing Steven since release date of this game, they literally always aim for Watermelon. Like, okay. Let's say I go, let's say I just summon watermelon in the beginning of the game. A Batman is going to throw Batarang immediately, uppercut it immediately. Everything like that. But if he, if he mess up, let's say he mess up and miss the kill on it. That motherfucker going to get big as hell. Yes. He like, yes, he can kill it easy more. But if he let the watermelon grow more. That's his dumb ass fault. Like, bro. It's stupid as hell. Like, come on. But anyway. This perk is good. But it's not. It's not. It don't got that. Mm, that mm to it. Yeah, watermelon get big. But watermelon is. is it's, it's a mid perk now. After using it for so long. And doing my research. With more with Steven. And fucking around with him more. I feel like. This is not that good. But this perk chat this perk this is any steven main you use this perk immediately this perk let's read the description real quick bounce bubble enemies have their hit stun extended and velocity increase after getting knocked into steven's wall or platform shields you know what that means that means you throw that out and it do mad damage when they bounce off of it. I'm talking about it do a shit load of both. What? Okay, let's say you just boom, boom. You see that right there? Boom, boom. See that little red effect? That's that's the it hitting the shield. See that? Toss them in there. Boom, 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 boom. So you do you knock him the shield? Basically, when you knock him the shield. It increased the knockback, so you ah, fucking punch him into the shield. He literally gets blown back even more, and that and that goes in with the other perks. You know what that goes into? The flammable dog. Now look, look, chat. You gonna have to, as Steven, he don't automatically have this on your default. You're gonna have to go to your go to your collections. And go to uh train perks and you're gonna have to buy it for steven it's only gonna cost like 150 or 100 coins like y'all i got the bread i know y'all do so y'all gonna have to buy it because it's not a default perk as for steven but that's straight that's okay because this shit is op i believe this is probably like the best perk in the game so many characters can just use this bitch and it's just so good as a perk. You see what it says? For three seconds after knocking back an enemy with a projector, your team and melee attack that enemy to ignite them for one second. So basically, look. You see what it says? 
knocking back. What is Steven moves? Knocking back with his shield. So basically, with that, what the hell? Ba basically, what that means, you throw the shield at them, boom. They start taking, you see that sign over him? That's burn damage. So if you, uh, 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 ignite, you got, you got him to ignite it. Look, look, look. Uh. Oh, I'm fucking up, I'm fucking up. Uh. Uh. Boom. See that? That is going to be so useful more than you fucking know it, bro. I'm telling y'all. So, first you got the knockback with the shield. Uh. Then you punch them and they burn? That's extra damage! Word! And you know, you know what hurt goes with both of them too? With knockback? The collateral damage. Your team deals one damage when knockback enemies collide with a wall or floor! With Steven's move, chat! Knock back it with his shield! So that's even more damage when you knock somebody with your shield. You got this and this. You push him. Yo, you do an almighty push like pain from Naruto with these two perks with you. I'm telling you. The best Steven, the number one Steven uses this. Every Steven may know to use this combo. And just, everybody know, always have triple jump. Everybody know how triple jump is literally one of the best perks in the game too to get you up there You always gonna need an extra jump with Steven. You always gonna be in the air trying to get these uh, 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 Always trying to get that off all the time. You always gonna need triple jump. Like that's not like something no one should not have so but basically I feel like this situational perks too you feel me I feel like for rare cases, like, let's say you go against Superman, who got mega dumb super armor. I say, take off this perk and give yourself, where is it at? There's a perk where, um, it hurts armor. And this is gonna help in that matchup. If I can, um, find a perk. The perk is actually very, very, very useful. Where's the perk at? Hold on, chat. The perk, the perk, the perk. Pop, 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 perk. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Here it is. Is this it? Pop, perk, it. Pop, perk, it. is right here armor crush here it is so if you go against a superman this is a great perk it literally you charge one of your attacks let's say you charge a shield it will hurt him in his armor by a shit ton so let's say you go against superman and you do boom he throw the shield perfectly at him it's gonna hurt a lot of his really armor but i i feel like you don't really need to put this perk on, but it's just nice if you just have a hard time dealing with Superman. I really don't in my times, like, fighting Superman. I know how to deal with him a lot more now. I don't really have to deal with him that much. Like, he's not really a problem. So, I really stick to, really, these, these are literally the best perks for Steven in the game. So, number one, Steven use them. All top 10 plus Steven use them. I recommend any new Steven main, any new Steven person, use these perks. It's gonna get us far. And plus, Steven's kind of, his nearest kind of nerf is gonna get fixed next pack, so he's gonna get even more powerful. And people are gonna start understanding that Steven is a valid, good character. No one knows right now. Everybody thinks he's still like a C tier, some, like rare cases, low B. I feel like he's like middle, high B tier really good if you can just do really good with his setups he's literally unstoppable but the world's gonna find out i'm telling you the world is gonna find out when it's too late when all us steven main start dominating tournaments or but uh 
Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And this was your boy, Steel of Flame, Steven Universe Perks. I appreciate y'all for watching. I love all y'all. Make sure you follow my Twitch at Twitch TV, Steve Laflame. Make sure y'all motherfuckers have a nice day. I love y'all. I'm out.